we see the the, the 4405 and then 05 and 4406 for the open layers i will i will go to that step for the development when i start that the complete development for the for the for the uh, for the complete development to open layers like this and what you need to do at the very beginning you need to do the understanding the 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 you need to be geo server need to be installed and you have to run the geo server properly that's i need to configure that's why i have a screencast number 34 i have a detailed discussion about how can you how can you uh, install the install the geo server how can you install the geo server and then how can you you make your workspaces and how can you add your layers and storage and how can you view the the open layers and how can you build a, your uh, geo server services wms wfs and wcss services and then all necessary configuration stuffs so the, you can go there there is a lot of possibility as i said and there are a lot of possibility here that in different storage possibility i have the possibility into the in the you have the possibility into the postgis database that's i did and you have the possibility to properties files and post the uh, post gis database that is a shape files import and the, all the even though the vector resources that's i think for for my case i just i have a post gis database and then i i in and uh, some 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 shape file uh, same files and import these shape files and post gis uh, database into the database and then after that i configure the post gis database with my geo server configurations connection configurations and build the necessary wms wfs and w services and just follow the uh, follow the screencast uh, number 34 and uh, older i don't know i forget these numbers but if i have enough time and i will show you again how how made it how 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 you communicate the uh, post gis database and how can you input the necessary data into the post gis database uh, post GIS database and uh, connect to the geo server with post gis database and after that uh, from this database uh, then you can publish your your wms wfs wcs depending on use cases the databases use cases then you can do the what you want to do this one so that means you need to be very beginning because the the client application like angular and typescript and doesn't matter the plate or open layers and then you need to be communicate your geo server services and then call the services and build a your 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 replay applications your 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 web application web mapping application that's i that's i explained a little bit here so this is not this one so if i go this you see that this is the url for the geo server call that's my geo server running this url the port number 007 geo server maybe this is the geo server is running different machines a different part of the world and you have to be put this the the ip address and the port number for these machines where the geo server is installed and where the geo server is running because i am working with my my local network my local machines that's why i put it here the geo server but it's still it is possible to put those and uh, those server into the different part of the world and call, call these services into the your applications it doesn't matter where you are you are trying to build the application with libraries you are trying to build and um, in, the, in the leaflets or in the in the open layers or other java libraries like time leap grails doesn't matter where you are to calling these services it's depend on the your requirement the specification of the your font and technology if i go to just the leaflet technology you can get it's like exactly the same thing uh, same call uh, i believe this is exactly the same call you see the exact the same url for the leaflets just just follow the screencast number uh, two and i already i already discussed things everything into the the screencast uh, number uh, two how can you install the the leaflet and how can you build start the configurations that's the search continue this one this is the i think so and it is available in my channels if i go my channels i can stop that one i didn't finish uh, it yet don't click even uh, you see there there's a there's a channels and then you can go there and then you have the playlist and the playlist you can you can get it like playlists like here so we have the node.js angular leaflet javascript that is the seven eight videos at the moment and now i'm continuing and the, those uh, the angular typescript and open layers the, the and the new 
and the new screen cast it will be a series of screen cast as an it is an example like 35 number uh, this ex example for the more older screen cast there's a lot of geo functionalities even though you can go to this series and then you can look for what you need to do because it's it's, it's really uh, really many applications i'm trying to do the the combination of the geo functionalities and non geo functionalities that's the idea to to come up the the, the enterprise solutions but it is hard to understand the, the for a very beginner but it is it is um, i try to come up really to, from the very beginner to the professional levels just just concentrated but uh, the what i did from very beginning to the end level then you can get the proper ideas or guidelines or steps how can you start the the geo geo application developments with the non geo functionalities so let's have a look for the again the our use functionalities so we will define that one and this is one of the example how the how the we are calling the services and then then all the Azure server url we are layering here some layers here you see the the all the all the all the data uh, coming from the both gis tables database and it is it's publishing the geo uh, server services and call the services into the into the web pages that you, you web applications if i go the here you see that this is the, all the services is here the all the layers the roads layers but here is a buildings layer if i go the buildings layer let's see um, the over layers overview and maybe there is some 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 bd roads maybe there's roads oh you see the roads major roads network that you saw maybe a little bit bigger so it's a BD roads, the road networks, maybe the primary road networks. Uh, that's a lot of possibility. Then you can you can go even though now I have the possibility. Uh, let's see, is have another layers? Then layer number two. Uh, major roads, and then maybe here the all the roads networks. I see the all the road networks that I exactly the same same call of the of the services in here same, same call of services in the in the leaflet technology you see the networks here the all networks is coming uh, here and then even though here the open open street maps you see the road networks and even though the the your uh, your your buildings layers so i mean that that's so you see that every even though the my geo server is running it at least you need to geo server so every interaction is locked in the geo server which service i am calling you see that in calling the road services here and then it is everything is properly locked if something happen you can track it the geo server lock but just 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 google it how can you start the geo server stop the geo server how can you configure the geo server with the with the different ports and then this is the, the this is the port and it, you need to be understand the, how it's the mechanism and the server client communication mechanism works for very beginner just 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 follow the very very beginning steps to the to my channels and then you can get the ideas but the professionals you can get the skin it in and then see it what what is happening in the in the in the in the in the, in the background process the server and client communications so that means you got the ideas uh, what i am trying to do that means i have the geo server running and i probably I, I have all database data from the this is the data from coming from the geo fabric the geo fabric for the german company they have open source data that's every country in the world they have a lot of the shape files and the, all the geo data i got the shape files from the geo fabrics and then I put it into this data into the GIS database and then communicate this project with the Geo server and publish the all necessary services what I need and then call the services into the my my client applications. It doesn't matter client application from the from the Java based JavaScript based framework like uh, like Angular, TypeScript or React framework. Or other, or other bootstrap JavaScript or jQuery JavaScript doesn't matter which JavaScript you try to use it, but it is it is dependent on you. Even though you can go with Java technology, that's I said in my, my channels, it's a lot of possibility. You can go with the you know, the time lapse. This is the open layer, layer Google Map API. Uh, you can go. With